In this AccuDraw demo, we're going to use AccuDraw along with the pop-up calculator to draw in a typical cross-section. Now, if you're going to be drawing in a typical cross-section manually using construction lines, knowing that, for example, we have an 8-foot wide shoulder, typical slope is going to be 5%. It's very common for people to draw in the construction lines, but when you get to this point here, you would need to determine what the height was going to be. Well, the math involved here is going to be the width, which is 8 feet, times the slope. So it's going to be 8 times 0 0.05. Using AccuDraw, I'm going to go ahead and draw this cross-section in. I'm in, going to go to the Place Smart Line tool. I'm going to start my cross-section here. I move my cursor to the right. The width of my shoulder is 8. So I type in 8 on my keyboard. I then move my cursor up. I'm moving it up because that's the direction of the slope. Now the, it's looking for me to input the height of that section right there, which would be the y-axis. This is where I just, on my keyboard, type in the formula. On the keyboard, I type in 8, and then I type in times, which is going to be the asterisk on my keyboard. On the AccuDraw window, you'll notice the pop-up calculator appear. In this case, it's in the multiply. Now I type in my slope, 0.05. I see the results, 0.4, and I see the graphics displayed here on the screen. To accept this, I just do a data, left click. Now my compass rotates to match the angle of the line. I need to go back to the top orientation, so I hit T for top. The compass rotates back to the top. Now to go to the crown, just slide over a little bit. I move my cursor in the direction. Distance to the crown is 26, so I type in 26. Again, I move my cursor up because this is the direction of my slope. It's looking for me to type in a value, so I type in the width of that distance, 26, times my slope is 2%, 0 0.02, comes out to be 0 0.520. Again, I do another data, slide on over, T for top to get my compass back to horizontal, move my cursor to the right, Next width is 26, so I type in 26 again. This time, my slope is going to go down the other side, so I move my cursor in the direction of the slope. Just type in the formula, 26 times 0 0.02. Data, slide on over. Hit T for top, getting compass back to the top orientation. I move my cursor to the right. Width of this shoulder is also 8, so I type in 8. And again, my slope is going to be going down, so I move my cursor down. Typing my formula, 8 times 0 0.05, data, reset, done. It's that simple. No extra calculator on my desktop, no drawing construction lines. And if you wanted to put in a vertical exaggeration, you would have been able to do the same thing. I'll demonstrate that just for the shoulder. I'll start my cross section here. I'll move it across to the top or to the right. I'm going to type in the width. I type in 8. Again, I move it up. That's the direction of my slope. Again, the slope is going to be 5%. So I type in 8, which is the width, times 0 0.05. This time, if I wanted to put a vertical exaggeration in, let's say I wanted to put a vertical exaggeration of 5, I would then do another multiply times, and then type in whatever vertical exaggeration I wanted, in this case 5. There it is. comes out to be 2. So I just do a data. And you get the idea, we could repeat that to the crown. So you can do just a straight cross-section, or you can even apply a vertical exaggeration. So, have fun with AccuDraw.